Thanks, Rob. Hey, thanks, Larry. You guys didn't have Coach Stefanski there last night, but it, it must have felt like his presence was felt. What, what, has his, what has his coaching, what impact has his coaching had on you guys all season? Um, like I always say, just his uh, cool headedness, just being able to keep everything in front of us, you know, always never getting too high, never getting too low. Um, staying focused at the task at hand, understanding that we got to go one and know each and every week. And um, we just understood that we've been a team that's, you know, dealt through, you know, adversity, you know, a bunch of different times during the season. So um, being able to go out there and get the win yesterday was very important. We knew it was going to be, you know, different without him being there. But we, of course, he felt his presence. You know, he faced, we got to FaceTime after the game. So um, it was there. Coach Preve did an amazing job of, you know, um, handling the reins while we, you know, in his absence, but you know he was still there in spirit. So we got the job done, and that's the most important thing. And what what were the emotions like for you when the when the clock finally ticks down and you guys get that you get that huge win, and it just felt like so many demons were exercised last night. Emotionally, how did that feel, Larry? Um, it's just very surreal. You know, it's just one of the things I'm big. I'm big on you know just being in the moment, and you know just being in that moment, and uh, it was just a blessing. You know to like you, that's a team that that's I've lost to uh, quite a few times in my career as a Brown. So um, being able to just be on the other side and to get that victory, you know, in their house, you know, and, and it'd be, you know, my first you know, playoff victory was very special. So. Thanks. Thank you, Tom. Steve Dorsik is next. Larry, what are some of the things about the Browns that make you think that uh, you can compete against uh, the best team, at least in the conference, you know, the defending Super Bowl. What do you like about this team? What makes you think that you have a real good chance to win this next game? Um, just the resiliency in the fight. You know, we don't really look at, you know, the uh, predictions or the uh, whatever people have to say. It's just really us against, you know, the world to kind of feel like. So we just, we're just about the work. You feel me? And um, we know that when you work hard, you put everything in the right perspective. You know, you, you give it your all. You always give yourself a chance to put yourself in a position to win. So uh, we like our chances as far as just continue to just grind, continue to work, and just continue to focus at the task at hand and understand that it's about us and what we do in preparation, getting ready for this, you know, next challenge this week. So. Thank you, Steve. Marla Reinhardt has her next question. Yeah, Larry, congratulations. Um, just thinking, what are you thinking? What's going through your mind during that takeaway avalanche in the first quarter? I mean, I know you thrive off of that, but was was that almost the most surreal thing about the whole thing? Just how it came so fast? Um, yeah, but I'm like I said, I'm always a guy that until the clock hits zero, like I'm not gonna I always try to just stay locked in and focus on what we got going on. But um it was definitely you know, you kind of start seeing it and the ball start rolling and it's a pick, a pick, you know, people are just, everybody was getting picks. And um, I mean, it was just awesome though. Cause uh, once again, like when, when you're on the other side of it and you know, for once you, you're seeing it and you're, you're, you're winning and things are moving in the right direction, offensive clicking, defensive clicking, special teams going crazy. So um, it's just good when you're playing, you know, very good complimentary football and everybody just firing all cylinders, so. You had so many like kind of unsung guys like Stewart breaking up those two point conversions and, you know, Gustin getting an interception. What, why, why are those guys, you know, they, they really, <clears throat> what is it about them that stepped up in the big moments? Um, they just work. I, I feel like that's what the team's about, just working, you know, and um, everybody, uh, we've had this mentality, you know, the next man up and it doesn't drop off. You know, you know, we had a you know, blow to the defense when OV got hurt, but, you know, just guys being able to pick up where we left off and just being able to, you know, kind of just keep it going, keep it, because at the end of the day, it's playoff, you know, it's, it's win or go home. And, you know, when you're playing, you know, you're playing for something, you know, just bigger than yourself. And, you know, the guys are ready, they're prepared, and that's what they've been doing. So I couldn't be more proud. Thanks, Marla. Jeff Shadell, you're up. And Larry, what were you guys saying in the huddle there, in the defensive huddle, when the Steelers made that comeback in in the third quarter? Um, we got to finish, you know. Like, like I, like I said, um, I told the guys that, like I said, the only moment that matters is this one. Don't wait till tomorrow to want to change what you did today. So you know, guys, just, just lock in and finish. You know, like we have what we, we have everything we want in front of us, but you know, we can't. Just go out there and finish. And that's what we did. So thanks, Chef. Nate Ulrich, go to you. 
Hey, Larry, uh, congratulations. What was your favorite memory from last night? Um, I'd probably say when uh, VT had tipped the ball and Porter dove out and caught it, I, I just felt that was a really cool moment, you know, for both of those guys. You know, we talk about plays leading to other plays and, you know, those are it's just special, you know, just testament to those guys in the room that, you know, they come working each and every day, especially uh, Porter, you know, he's one of those guys who will be in the building until like 6.30 when we're allowed to be in just doing extra work and all that stuff. So I'm always, I always like to see when that work pays off. So I'm really happy for the both of them. That was probably when my that, favorite. Oh, sorry. When that happened, did you think uh, um, like Kevin Stefanski called it or something? Because Baker Mayfield said that uh, in the Saturday meeting, Stefanski had said something about, hey, I, I can see a tip pass being picked. Being picked. Yeah, he said it. And, you know, VT got them long arms, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, it just all worked out. So, happy for him, happy for the team, just, you know, excited. Thank you, Nate. Scott Petrick is next. Hey, Larry, obviously you guys aren't the same old Browns. So what do you think are the biggest differences from your previous three years to this edition of this team? Um, like I, I would just say just the level of focus. Obviously the players are different, but um, just the level of focus and how we approach each and every game. You know, we're about to work. We're about, you know, what we have to do, not getting too high, not getting too low, but just focusing, like I said, on the task at hand, what we have to do. And that's the biggest thing, just trying to go one know each and every week. You know, it's a... This is a week by week league, you know, um, nothing's ever given, it's earned. And uh, you got to earn it each and every Sunday. And I feel like the guys understand that nobody's going to give us, give it to us, you know, regardless of you, you jump on a, up on a team, you know, early in the fourth quarter, like it's, um, it's a, a full four quarter game, you know, plus if, you know, going to overtime. So you have to, you know, play until the clock hit zero. And that's just the mentality of this team, so. And on that, your uh, short yarded stop, where you blew up Pouncey to get into the fullback, I think it was. Um, just take me to that play. What were you thinking? Did you know this was an opportunity for you to have a big impact? Um, yeah, I just wanted to get off the rock, you know, and try to find a way to make a play for the team, get us off the field. You know, I think the biggest thing is just trying to find a way to get off, get off the field on third down, you know, really just trying to just spark the defense. And it was good, you know, good to get a stop and then just keep the momentum rolling in a positive direction. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Marla Reinauer, back to you. Larry, just one more thing. JC said there was a few fans at the airport. I don't know how many, but how cool was that? Oh, yeah, it was definitely cool. Oh, my. <laughs> I think I had, that was, that. yeah, they were, uh, they're out there chanting, and I'm like, it's 3 a.m. in the morning, it's cold. So, <laughs> but I just goes to show just the love that, you know, the, the fans in Cleveland had, the dedication to the team they have, and, you know, just the best fans in the world, you know, to just to be out there after a big win and still want to come and support given the current circumstance that we're all living in, but just to want to be out there. They had their mask on, but you know, just want to be out there and uh, supporting was, uh, you know, very important. So, you know, we appreciate them. What were they chanting? Here we go, brownies or what? Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs>